Hello everybody. Um, I appreciate that you probably can't see me very well at the moment, and that's because I'm trying to draw your attention to this iPad. This is just going to be a quick video whilst I'm waiting for Julian to come on and record part two of the alphabet section. But I thought I'd show you something that I discovered the other day and that I thought was particularly interesting. It's a function available on the iPad. I'd read about it before, but I had no idea how it might work. But I had a look into it the other day, and uh, I think it's interesting, and hopefully you guys will too. The way, obviously, the way the iPad usually works is you have the your QWERTY keyboard to type on, but there is actually a way to input using the same methods you would use to type Braille. Now, when you write Braille, you have six keys labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, three on each hand, and you form the characters you want to use by using different combinations. Now, if you have voiceover switched on on the iPad, you can switch the keyboard to Braille screen input. Now it's telling me now that it's uh, in tabletop mode because you can actually hold it round the other way, which is much more useful if you're using a phone and type with the screen facing away from you. But on the iPad, the tabletop mode is better. So how does it work? Basically, if I use this finger for a single character, it gives me an A, two fingers. Just erase those because I didn't have my fingers in the right place. A, B, B C, C, D, D C. Dots one four. B, e, F, G, B. I've done an E, but that was Dots my fault, I. not the computer's fault. I, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, D, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, M. And I did an M Dots one rather four, than. A Z because I don't use Braille very often and uh, I've gotten a bit forgetful but that's it for that I just I thought it was interesting and I thought you guys might too so there you go